Hi, welcome back to Art by Brooke. I want to start off this video by wishing everyone a Merry Christmas and a Happy Holidays for whatever you celebrate at this time of year. Yesterday I did an open cup paint pour with a tree ring on top and I used Christmas colors, which includes silver, gold, white, a metallic pearl white mixed with a little bit of green, green, red, and black. I'm going to try something similar on this vase. Now, it's a little tricky. All these colors can combine and create mud, so it's a little up in the air on how this will turn out, but I'm going to try to be careful and we'll see what happens. I have a canvas underneath so that once I move the vase over, I can then tilt the canvas. I like to start off the vase by pouring one single color on it to cover it so that then when I do a tree ring pour over top, those rings have a chance to kind of spread out and look a little nicer. I can go a little slower with that pattern. So we'll start with that and then we'll go ahead and start pouring. Okay, so the vase is now set to dry and we're going to go ahead and do the canvas now. So there wasn't a ton of interesting runoff on this one and I actually had to scoop some off kind of accidentally to get the cup off the canvas. I don't know if you could tell but I was having some trouble getting it off. Um, sometimes the cup gets suctioned down because of the paint around it and because of that I just kind of had to pull it off the side. So I'm going to move this around a little bit, get it to cover a little bit better and then See if I can pour the rest of what was in the cup. I 
think I might need a tiny bit more, so I'm going to add a little bit more to the cup. turned out very cool. It definitely still got muddy. I think probably these techniques are not the best for these colors. I kind of knew that going into it, but I still wanted to try. But you still get some definition of the red, and obviously pretty much all the green poured off. But you still have a little bit of it coming through here and up in that corner. So I'm going to let it sit for a little while longer, and then we'll take a closer look. I can still see cells forming, and it looks super cool. Very much the idea of a cloud pour. So we'll be right back. Okay, we're back. So the darkness of this pour is going to make it a little bit hard for the camera to focus, but I'm going to try my best to get it there. So here we actually have some of the green and red coming through as cells, which is really, really cool. And these red cells through here turning into kind of like white cloudy with pink cells are so cool and that the defined black lines are really really neat in here and there's some of that green again popping through really neat that we didn't lose all of that altogether. i love the rings down here and you can see a little bit of that green kind of coming through as well some more of the reds and kind of pinky colors and grays some more green and red cells down here this looks a lot like a geode very cool might have to use these colors in a geode pour coming up. Some more cool lines. And the center is very neat. I think that's some of the gold coming through as well. Overall, so pretty. I love this. It may not be the most Christmassy looking pour, but I definitely think it has some of the elements in it and looks really, really pretty. You never know what you're going to get when you do a paint pour. You can get close, you can kind of estimate what it will look like, but you're always a little bit surprised. The vase will continue moving throughout the night, and as it starts to dry, I will kind of get a better idea of what it will look like. So keep an eye out. I'll probably do a YouTube short when that's dry to show you the dry piece. I think it's probably going to be kind of muddy, but the process of doing the vase pours is so much fun that I still wanted to try it. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you haven't already. Don't forget to click the bell so you get a notification every time I post a new video. I hope you're having a wonderful day and a Merry Christmas if you celebrate and a happy holiday regardless. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great day. Mm -hmm.